you once again for joining me on here if you're already part of the family thank you so much for always sharing in my joy always sharing in my videos if you're new here my name is christabel thank you so much for deciding to watch this video hopefully um it brings you a bit of info or insight Sorry. so i made a review video okay so i i I actually made two so parts one and then part two so for the part one I was just going to talk about my vendors the vendors I went for and then part two is like more detailed do you know what I mean so part two is safe and safe and sound but for part one I mistakenly deleted the mobility and uh my side delete I was recently deleted does you speak G? Like when you're frustrated, yeah, you have to switch to your local dialect. But yeah, that was just by the way. So I mistakenly deleted it and then I mistakenly deleted it from recently deleted. If you use an iPhone, you can relate to this. And I've been struggling to get it back, but then to no avail. So here I am hoping that I leave nothing out, that I remember each and every detail that I'm meant to share with you. So help me God. Off with my glam team. So for my makeup artist, I went with Beauty by Ina. Um, she's an absolutely amazing person. I'm gonna give like a more detailed review in the next video. Okay, so watch out for that. That's gonna be very detailed. Um, so I had so many like options like miss lawson beauty by mana um maroon faces um i think one thing that attracted me to beauty by ina was um her work on dark skin and i have a dark skin so i needed somebody who could like proper work on my skin tone do you know what i mean some of them are actually good when it comes to light skin but then when you check their work on dark skin doesn't really give like that you feel me yeah and i wanted a subtle look and she was there before hairstyling is really important you get it on time and so i i personally um reached out to aninessa because i wanted to use aninessa um but then her terms weren't like really favorable because um you, you you're required to like get um your hair bundles from her and I already had my wig purchased so that like really put me off and so I had to con make a few contact to other hairstylists they had some really strange terms most of them required you to go to their studio to have your hair done like it's my wedding day you do not expect me to walk or come to your studio to get my hair done and then go all the way back to my place of lodge like that's such an inconvenience to me so those put me off of rev up or rev up rev up salon rev up salon yeah and i think her price and comparatively um to the others um was reasonable and obviously she was hoping to she was willing to come home to offer their home service so which was really good um so yeah i went for rev up and i'm gonna give like a very very a very very thorough review on rev up rev up to yeah literally all my vendors in the next video so yeah i went for a rev up um salon for my hair so for my kinted rice and uh, my dear kaishika made it for me i mean kaishika knows what she's about her price is always very reasonable and you can like rely on kaishika i remember my thanksgiving um thanksgiving sunday dress i gave her the fabric really really late but then she still delivered i was like oh kaishika how can i love you less but yeah i'm still gonna give like a genuine review in the next video so yeah my kente design the dress was by kaishika so initially i wanted to go for a very crazy style so I even showed Kaishika the style. She liked it. I liked it too. But then I grew out of that mood. And later on, I wanted to go for something really simple. I wanted to do simple. So deciding whether to go for like a really extra style. Like a really, you know, um, crazy style. Or going for simplicity. 
I think um, um, it's dependent on the kind of like dress code you give to your guests. For mine, the dress code was all white, so I knew I was still gonna stand out anyways. Um, but also, I am the type of person who does not really mind if my guests are gonna go like crazy and make a statement at my wedding or traditional marriage ceremony. I really do not mind. I want my guests to come there and make a statement. So that wasn't really like an issue for me, do you feel me? Yeah. So I think you should consider that. Dako, we went with Restyled. I think we settled on Restyled because we had seen um, some videos of their setup for clients. And we liked just how simple yet rich their setups were. And that was the kind of style we were going in for. And so if you watched the previous video, you would notice we went for romantic, tropical, rustic theme would turn out really exquisite. Cool photography and then videography those are really important really important vendors that you have to like consider because obviously after it's said and done you you you're only relying on your videographer and then your photographer to produce like really beautiful like pieces for you to like have memory of your special day so for photography we went with um steve morris weddings by steve morris okay and um, for videography we went with triple dots so because um i had seen um um lots of very nice weddings being captured by steve morris so for steve morris um i think i had seen lots of his work and like he's very different and triple dots as well because triple dots is um an equally amazing videographer so we decided to go with both of them and yeah on the day i think i noticed they 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 already knew each other they had worked on different projects together before so it was really easy for them to you know like communicate and then like hand in hand yeah but i'm gonna give a very very detailed um review once again for the mcs for our event um we went for three MCs, two Ochamis and then one reception MC. So for the reception MC it was Eddie Aqua. Um so he took over after the main ceremony. So for the two Ochamis who um who took charge during the main ceremony it was MC Cool Buddy for my side and then Akura 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 Jimfi for um the groom's side and yeah. I think they did all right. Uh, Oshers, um, we went with 25 Jewels, um, which is owned by an old school mate of mine. Um, yeah, so they helped with ushering services. And I mean, obviously, you know what Oshers do at events, so yeah. And I think it was easy because I knew she already had like an ushering company, so it was easy to like get them to be a part of my vendor team and uh, for security we went with 360 360i few moments later 360i oh my but yeah, i'm gonna put their name here so <laughs> you're gonna see it but i think it's a 360i or something like that then you we wanted um a garden theme okay not like a home kind of vibe so um and we wanted like kind of like a destination venue so we thought a brie was a brilliant idea and then i came across um the place so the venue is called the place like literally it's called the place so we i came across the place on instagram i made a few calls and inquiries and then um we decided to go all the way to a brie to find the place and then we finally found the place and all of that so i'm gonna you know put in some videos here just so you see how it looks okay so it has amazing views and the location is not too far from accra so this was the first day we went to the place to survey the area and i mean as you can see it's got breathtaking views and 
the landscape is awesome so yeah we absolutely went for it um but in my next video i'm gonna enlighten you guys on the venue and the owners and that yeah so watch out food we went with men's cook and then the Ghanaian bar i think the reason why we went with a um, men's cook was um um because i think i think one of the main reasons was um their setup i think we liked the men's cook setup i mean if you go through their timelines you're gonna know what i'm talking about and for the Ghanaian bar as well i like the setup and their packages were reasonable so yeah, we went with men's cook and then we went with Ghanaian bar. We had a custom made beer canoe where we put all our beer stuff uh, with soft drinks, champagne in, um, which was served to our guests. And I think it was an amazing concept. I'm going to put like a video or a picture for you to see how a beer canoe looks. So this is pretty much how our beer canoe looked. Very innovative, fully packed with beer stuff, soft drinks, champagne, etc. We had um, a, a traditional Maori ceremony website which I created um, through the knot.com. Um, so when you go on the knot.com, they have like a general one and then they have like the custom made one for you Okay, so um, for example, our website was my name and then My partner's name and then the dot com for it. I don't know if you feel me, but yeah, it's like custom made for you and You just have to pay like very little amount for it, which is amazing So the website is such a great idea because you can obviously put all your details all the wedding details on there the venue um the menu um the wedding party um literally every detail you want to put on there do you know what i mean and it's easy to communicate with your guests so this is how it looked so we went for um a marble concept a marble um template and so all the details there i mean from location map accessible hotels times reception dress code literally everything wedding party menu everything was on the registry photos everything so a wedding website makes it easy for both you and your guests you know and then obviously they can easily go on the website attain any information they're missing and that's pretty much it yeah so if you can if you have the time um i feel like you have to like create a wedding website because then you're able to like easily communicate with your guests and also share whatever lovely or important information you want to share with them. So yeah, if you can, I strongly recommend getting a wedding website. Also had a mobile toilet because um, the venue we used required us to have that service. So yeah, so we went with um, our crap portable toilets. Uh, so we went for the double i think they had like different packages i think we went for the double okay so which had the male section and female section <coughs> yeah so our crap portable toilets um i think there were other ones like poshy toilets or something like that but then we went with our crap portable toilets because comparing the the pictures and then videos i think um the crap portable toilet one was looked a bit more attractive and like cleaner and dj um our dj was dj jerry b um so we got his contact through one of my cousins and dj jerry b dj's at honeysuckle laboni branch so i think those of you who've been there you probably know him or know of him so yeah he was our official dj for the day invitation um i did a diy okay <laughs> with the invitation printed everything from scratch designed the envelopes literally did everything from scratch and i think it turned out to look a bit different and beautiful <laughs> yeah i will show i mean i'm gonna show you guys how it turned out to look so yeah so this is how they turn out to look i mean i did three different concepts um this was one and there were two others um yeah it was kind of hectic trying to like put every everything together 
but I guess no pain, no gain. So yeah, man had to go all out. And I really like how they turn out to look really sweet, but very appealing to the eye and very unique as well. So let me know in the comment yeah. section if you think I killed it. I think I did. So one thing you also have to consider is um, getting your guests and wedding favors. Wedding favors are basically the gifts you give to your guests um, who tend to attend your ceremony or event. So we went with um, wooden candle holders. I'll show you a picture of it. And then we also went with um, mini, beautiful mini plants. So we went with Norway spruce and um, cactus plants and they turn out really beautiful. Our guests absolutely loved these wedding favors. And I think it was really different um, to the usual. You have to like think outside the box, or go online, search for like um, unique wedding favors and then you'll get like tons of like um, word in favor ideas so yeah you should absolutely do that. so this is a video of the pre-wrapped mini plants that we gave our guests um, our gardener went all out um, kudos to him um, they turn out just the way we wanted them so yeah kudos to him and this is a picture of how our candle wooden candle holders looked the guest book we went with um vinyl record first off forgive me for the wrong pronunciation um because we wanted something that something that could stay for long and we felt like vinyl records so apparently is vinyl record <laughs> it is what it is it is what it is i mean obviously you can frame it up put it in a nice area of your home and then having to always walk past it, I mean, you're reminded of the amazing memories from your special day, your events, your wedding, your traditional ceremony. So yeah, for our guest book, we went with um, vinyl records. It's my world and you live in it. So all you have to do is go online and search for wedding guest book ideas and you're gonna get thousands and thousands of ideas. So these are my guests signing our guest book. And yeah, I mean, it was a really chic concept and I think we absolutely loved it. That's the most important. We get to save it forever. Last but not least, um, our coordinator was Bellop Official. And so we went for Bellop Official. Can't kids see a very good friend of mine who sponsored that for me. So shout out to Mavis wherever she is. Yeah, so I'm going to give a Beautiful review about Bell Up in my next video. Like, if you stay till now, thank you so much for sticking around. I hope this was insightful enough for you. If you do have any further questions in any topic I have discussed, you can absolutely put the questions in the comment section and then I would reply. And also, um, as I said earlier, I'm going to be uploading the part two of the reviews um, shortly after this one. So do look out for it. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, thank you once again. Remember to join the family by hitting the subscribe button. And like, share with your family and friends. And let's meet you another time to have fun.